and built at advantageous points. During their stay at Malta, the Queen and the Duke went out by royal barge to visit the giant aircraft carrier HMS Eagle. The weather was bright, but it was blowing very hard, with strong gusts sweeping the high flight deck of the ship. Her Majesty, all the same, spent some time on board, and with His Royal Highness took the salute at the march pass by the ship's company, some 2,000 officers and ratings. The Queen, as Princess Elizabeth, had launched Eagle in 1946. The afternoon was given up to polo, and the Queen came to watch the Duke play for the Royal Navy against the Army for the Rundle Cup. His Royal Highness, number four, scored one of the Navy's four goals, two others being scored by Admiral Mountbatten, and the Army was defeated. All pretty exciting for the royal children, but there were still more thrills in store for them, as we shall see. From Malta to Gibraltar, where the last call of the royal tour was made. The rock itself is always a magnificent sight viewed from the sea, and so it was now as Britannia arrived in perfect weather. A tremendous welcome was ready for the royal family from Her Majesty's smallest colony. The children were naturally keeping a very sharp lookout all the time. Presently they saw their mother and father go ashore. They were able to watch the first ceremony at Gibraltar. It was the presentation of the huge bunch of keys, the original keys of the fortress, which were offered by the Governor General Sir Gordon Macmillan, Her Majesty touching them in token of her acceptance. But of course all this kind of ceremonial can be very puzzling when you see it for the first time. Yes, lots of questions were asked by the prince and princess, but as you see, there were experts at hand to answer all queries. An important engagement on this first day was a combined services parade on the airfield, only a few hundred yards from the Spanish frontier. The Spanish town of La Linea, it's reported, was simply crowded with sightseers. The real highlight of the stay in Gibraltar, so far as the royal children were concerned at any rate, was the visit to the famous Barbary Apes. Jolly exciting, but, um, well, we're not quite sure yet. It didn't take long, though, to make friends, and soon, with the children handing peanuts to all comers, it was very clear that Princess Anne was having the time of her life. The Queen and the Duke also went up to see the apes, which, by the way, are officially on the strength of the garrison. So long as the apes are on the rock, an old saying goes, Gibraltar will be British. As for the young Duke of Cornwall and his sister, their delight in feeding the apes was only equaled by the apes' keen desire to be fed. Obviously, the whole trip was a huge success. Monkeys are funny, aren't they?